this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a quick video. It was just announced yesterday and then we saw the demo today. And that is Samsung has just uh, showed off their world's first cinema LED display. Now, this is a literal screen like the size you see at a movie theater, but it's an LED display of that size being that we're not sure it's not one piece but it's this seamless transition so you can't see the lines like you can at a stadium or something along those lines so they show this off at ces if you did miss our ces coverage we actually saw this where they kind of went around each other and it looked like one display but it's multiple display panels and it goes up to 33 feet wide and over 10 feet tall now, just to give you an idea, this is about half the size of, say, like an IMAX display, but right there with a lot of movie theaters already. And it has obviously great features like HDR into it, and of course 4K, you pair that with some Adobe Atmos and you have an amazing system. Now, the crazy thing about this that I wanted to bring up is, can you imagine this replacing projectors? For one, I often always end up going to my home and watching a movie when it comes out digitally on my TV because I get to see certain things that I didn't see in the movie theater. The colors are richer, it's more vibrant, the blacks are better, everything just looks better in terms of color and lighting in a home TV, a modern day TV, comparing to a projector at a movie theater. As good as a projector is in a movie theater with Adobe Vision and all that stuff, it's still a projector. We're not getting that world-class and beautiful technology that we have in today's TVs. So I think this is a great step in the right direction. For me, this is something I have been looking forward to for many years. I actually like to go into high-end movie theaters when I do go into movie theaters. As you know, I see a lot of movies. If you haven't subscribed to our other channel, The Mainstream Movie Guy, I review movies there. I just saw Planet of the Apes. That review is going up today, as well as the box office predictions. So that being said, I'm a big movie person. I love to see a lot of movies, but I will admit that I have been waiting for this technology for a long time. And I don't know if it's gonna be Samsung that necessarily does it all, but this is a step in the direction I've always wanted movie theaters to go through to have a better experience. I'm willing to pay $20 uh, for a movie ticket if I get comfortable seating, Adobe Atmos sound, and high, high quality uh, visuals. Uh, my favorite theater around my area is Adobe Prime, uh, or sorry, AMC Prime uh, with Adobe Vision and Adobe um, and Adobe Audio. So that would be my favorite out of all of them. I love the whole Atmos thing. I wish I had an Adobe Atmos speaker at home, uh, but I love that kind of display. I love the idea of having HDR content so you can really see we can really see movies like we've never seen them before. And to be honest, that most of us cannot afford anything as that extravagant or that big, you know? I mean, I have a 65 inch, and but I know friends that have like 80 inch, 78 inch, all those kind of TVs, you know? And at CES, we always see the 105 inch up to, I think we one year we saw 140 inch or something along those lines. So we see these extravagant TVs, but the fact that we can actually get it into our movie theaters one day is very exciting for me. Something that I hope we will get to in the next 10 years. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Does this technology excite you? I'm going to leave uh, the link in the description down below if you wanna read more about it. And also the video uh, link to Samsung's unveiling. They just posted it on their YouTube channel at Samsung Newsroom. So go ahead and check all that out. Of course, they put more of, uh, you know, JBL doing the sound system there and all that stuff. As you know, uh, they now own JBL. So really cool and fun stuff to see. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What is your favorite movie theater to see in your hometown or your area? Mine again is I love AMC Prime. Arclight's another good one, uh, but for me, I like AMC because they have a rewards program. I don't know if Arclight does, but uh, I love lounge chairs, kicking my feet up, uh, reclining, you know, lovely seats and just get the full experience. I will pay 20 bucks a ticket, no problem, even in LA for that. Uh, I think I paid like 25 for Star Wars. And I don't mind paying for IMAX, but for me, 
it doesn't matter if it's IMAX if I'm not comfortable. And that's why I choose that one. Comfort's probably the most important thing to me, followed by a great screen and really good sound. Let me know what your favorites are in the comment section down below. And again, are you looking forward to this technology? All right, guys, thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy.